a very large package just got dropped off on my porch. This right here is the Hovsko foldable electric bike. Hovsko provided the bike for this video, but I always let companies know up front that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the pros and assuming there are any, the cons as well. Coming in at $1,799, this bike has a 750 watt brushless gear hub motor. Providing this motor with power is a fully integrated 720 watt hour Samsung LG battery. The motor powers this bike up to 20 miles an hour just using electric power or 28 miles per hour with pedal assist, traveling a distance of 40 miles on a single charge just using the electric power or over 60 miles with pedal assist. The built-in LCD panel displays the speedometer, odometer, pedal assist levels, and battery percentage. This has front fork suspension, 180 millimeter or seven inch hydraulic disc brakes, and a Shimano seven speed rear sprocket. Now, even though the motor can do pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour, because you only have seven speeds, you'd have to be cranking super fast in order to maintain that speed. So expect a comfortable cruising speed to be more around 20 miles an hour. This bike is perfect for everything from cruising downtown to exploring dirt roads. The motor is powerful enough to easily conquer steep hills and the wide tires are perfect for riding down the beach. One of the main reasons I actually wanted to test this particular bike is because of this big hinge in the middle, which allows it to fold in half and fit in the back of my car. Some people might not care, but personally, I just really hate bike racks, especially if you have to move them up and down every single time you wanna get into the back of your car, or even worse, if you have to get your bike down off of the top of the roof. It's just such an inconvenience that I end up never taking my bike anywhere. So the fact that this bike folds up and can go in the back of my car is a game changer. fold up the bike there's just a little safety switch here you push this forward and then you're free to pull this lever out to the side and that allows the hinge to open and it's the same way with the handlebars as well there's a little latch here pull this then the handlebars will fold over the pedals can also fold up by pressing in on the pedal it will slide over and then rotate to the side I like how they've done the cable management on this bike. All the wires are organized and held together with these little twisties. And then everything that goes to the back runs inside the frame right here. E-bikes by nature have a lot more cables and wires running everywhere, but they've done a great job at keeping everything looking clean and organized. Here's my list of pros and cons that I think are the most important to know about this bike. Number one, it seems really well made, so good build quality, it has a nice powerful motor, and a battery with decent range. It also has the advantage of folding up. However, when you do fold it up, this thing is not light at 66 pounds, which is totally to be expected with any electric bike. Just know that this thing is a beast to pick up. And when this bike is folded up, it's still pretty big. It takes up quite a bit of space in the back of my car.
I really like this bike. It's a lot of fun. If you're looking for an electric bike, whether that be a mountain bike, a street bike, or a fold-up bike like this one, Hobsco has a lot of great options. If you want to see their website, there's a link for it in the description below. Go check out some more of my videos right over here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.